Hey guys, so this is the look that we are going to be doing today. Really nice blue iridescent eye with a little warmth there and a purple lip. I do speed up the face, so here we go. So I'm going to begin uh, every look, like I always do, with a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids. Then because we are using brighter colors, I am going to take this LA Girl Pro Prime in white and go ahead and blend that all over the lid. And I'm going to set it with just a matte white eyeshadow. I'm using one from LA Colors. I'm then going to begin the look with a yellow. This is from the Zulu palette uh, from Juvia's Place. And it is, it's a pretty decent pigmented yellow, especially on the white. So I'm just using a crease brush, a blending brush, and I'm going to really pack that yellow on a really high um, into the crease and just really high up on the lid, on the eye. I'm then going to follow it with an orange uh, from the same palette and I'm going to blend that yellow and that orange together as best as I can and yeah, so create that gradient of the orange and the yellow. Next, I'm going to add some deep purple. This is actually going to be covered, but I'm going to take it with a pointed, pointed brush and kind of carve out a little bit of a cut crease, just a little bit, and blend back over it with the orange. Um, I did it on the other eye, so I'm doing it here. I'm going to cover it, though, so. Just so you know. So then I'm going to take this beautiful, beautiful green shade. I'll have the shade names listed down below. Uh, green shade from the Juvia's Place Magic Palette. And I'm going to kind of carve a crease, cut crease a little bit. And it's going to be a halo eye. So I'm using this shade on the inner and outer portions of the eye. And curving them around my eyeball shape, if you will. And pulling it in. I actually realized a little bit, you'll see in the video, that I put that crease part a little too high, that cut part a little too high, and so I take a Q-tip and I fix all that up to try to make it a little even. We all make mistakes. It's a learning process. I'm then going to take another shade from the Juvia's Face Magic Palette and put that in the middle to finish this whole lid shape off. Um, it's like a periwinkle blue type of shade. And I realized that that wasn't just enough shine for me. So I'm going to take a pigment, a white pigment, it's like iridescent from Jessie's Girl. Spray it with some Fix Plus and pack that right in the middle as well. Definitely to give me more light reflect reflecting properties. Okay. Now I'm all over the place. At this point, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna add my tape for my winged liner because I want it to be sharp. I'm using a matte blue liner. It is from Milani. Um, and I'm going ahead and I'm gonna draw a wing. And yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm going to draw a wing and um, keep the liner fairly thin, at least thin for my standards. Because um, you know how I be. I like a thick wing liner. But yeah. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to peel off my tape, and this is what we have, and then I'm going to apply my false, I'm sorry, not false lashes yet, I'm going to apply my navy blue pencil liner in my waterline, and I'm actually going to smudge this pencil blue out with a navy bluish purple shade from the Juvia's Place Magic Palette again. Then I'm going to place this beautiful yellow shade from the Urban Decay After Dark palette in the inner corner. And um, that's just going to brighten it up a little bit. I really liked it. And I'm going to apply my lashes. These are the Coco Lashes in Matte and Wispy. And I'm putting those on and securing those with my fingers and tweezers. And yeah, and that's the basis. The basis. That's the eye look. Um, and we're going to... I do get a shot. I do give you a shot of both eyes. Sorry, guys. Putting on my lashes, trying to stay in frame and stay in the mirror. I struggle with it every day of my life. Uh, but yeah, that is the eye look. I really like it. I don't know where I was going with it. I really don't know. But I really like that warm and cool combination. So we're going to go ahead and speed this up some more and go ahead with the face. I'm starting with a little bit of color correction. So I'm going to color some cover correct some of the darker areas around my face under eyes and around my lips and mouth and stuff so yeah that's what i'm doing here and i'm setting that color correction with a little bit of translucent powder from la mercier <clears throat> and my foundation is going to be the fiona styles Ugh, i love this foundation it's going to be the, be the fiona styles foundation um and i'm packing packing let me get my life together blending all of that out with a real technique sponge making sure i get down my neck i don't put foundation on my ears but uh everywhere else okay for concealer i am going to be using a combination of kat von d and a little bit of color pop i'm just going to dab a little bit of the lighter shade is color pop on some areas because i like my highlight dramatic and i'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my sponge i'm not going to bake i am going to just set it with a yellow powder and i'm using my black radiance soft focus finishing powder to set the under eye area and i'm going to go back with my la mercier translucent powder to set everywhere else My contour is going to be the Profusion Contour Kit, and I am placing that on the normal areas I contour, and did I say blush? That was contour, I'm sorry if I said blush. My blush is from Sleek, my Sleek by 3 in Flame. I'm using the Satin Finished Orangey one, and I'm going to highlight. I want it to be a little, a little unique, so I'm using this uh, NYX Chromatic Highlighter. It's like a lavender shade, and I'm putting that on the high points of my cheeks where you put highlighter you know uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to take a gold highlighter and this is the one from Maybelline and I am going to put that down my nose and keep its bone that's how we do my lip is going to be a LA splash uh, liquid lipstick again I have all shade names listed below and it's a bold purple I really really like this I actually had a nude not a nude like a, a shimmery gloss on before this and i'm like nah honey we need a bold lip we need to be popping so i went ahead and i went with this la splash uh i'm gonna set my face with some setting sprays all those type of things and yeah this look is complete um Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned, you can leave it down below, of course. Um, I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.